A lethal drone strike on an American citizen on U.S. soil. The Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, won't completely rule, rule out such a shocking scenario. Our Pentagon correspondent Chris Lawrence is working this story for us. Chris, what's going on here? Well, this has got to come as a, a big shock to a lot of Americans who may not have imagined that the U.S. government could assert this kind of power here inside the United States. Basically, Senator Rand Paul wanted some explanation about how much power the government has to go after citizens. He got that clarification, and therefore now so do we. In a letter, the Attorney General Eric Holder wrote to Rand Paul. He said that authorizing a drone strike against an American citizen right here on U.S. soil, that would be a hypothetical situation, unlikely to occur in something that he hoped no president would ever have to do. But, quote, it is possible, I suppose, to imagine an extraordinary circumstance in which it would be necessary and appropriate under the Constitution and applicable laws of the United States for the president to authorize the military to use lethal force within the territory of the United States. The letter goes on to give examples, such as the impending attack on, say, Pearl Harbor from 1941, or the attacks on September 11th, 2011. Uh, in a separate letter, the nominee to be the CIA director, John Brennan, says, this would not be a mission that the CIA could authorize. It would have to come from the president himself, Wolf. Quick, uh, hold on for a second, uh, Chris, uh, because I want to bring Jeffrey Tubin into this conversation. Uh, Jeff, uh, if it's uh, okay, if it's legal for a U.S. drone to uh, kill an American citizen on foreign soil, whether in Yemen or Somalia or Afghanistan, someplace else, what's the difference between you using a U.S. drone to target an assassination of an American citizen on U.S. soil? Well, it, it is a different situation. The federal government has more limited powers under the Constitution within the United States, but it still has a lot of powers here. And if you had a national security situation um, with, that, with, with tremendous urgency along the lines of Pearl Harbor or 9-11, you could see a situation where the drone, like a fighter plane, like a, a very powerful gun, could be used in the United States. It's just another weapon, and the police have a lot of weapons in this country. Uh, and let me go back to Chris Lawrence for a moment. Uh, there's no indication that the U.S. military has any plans, obviously, to actually use a drone to target the assassination of anyone in the United States, for that matter, as far as you know. No, Wolf, and, and you know, as I read the Attorney General's letter, it specifically says the U.S. government has not carried out drone strikes in the United States and has no plans on doing so. It further says that, as the Attorney General Eric Holder says, that he would have to examine the particular facts according to this, whatever particular circumstance came up, he would have to look at them individually and then advise the president specifically on his legal authority in that case. Again, he made a point of saying Senator Rand Paul's question was hypothetical, is hypothetical at this time, but at some point down the road in the future, this may not be a hypothetical question, Wolf. Chris, uh, hold on for a moment. We got some breaking news.